Hello, besiegers. Okay, uh, today we've got something really special. Uh, we're going to boldly go where no besieger has gone before. And um, to get there, we're going to use the angle mod, which I used on the last video. It was by ITR. And you know, I'll put a link in that below. But um, you won't need it if you're downloading it. You don't need the angle mod. It'll go fine. Um, <clears throat> the, the angle mod allows you to work your way through as many angles as you want, whereas you're restricted to just like 90, 180, etc., etc. Uh, this lets you pick your angle and uh, therefore it opens up a world of possibilities it really does change it so I was looking initially just to make sort of rampy things and um, loopy things and I'm just thinking what could this be used for and then I thought oh I know what I could use it for the thing that I've been after all this time so we're about to any minute have a look at uh, my most adventurous creation so far. It took me only about 15 hours to make this, so it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But as you can see, it's like uh, it's something else. All this was made possible by uh, uh, the, the mod that I'm talking about, the angle mod. Right, okay, so the train itself, you can see it's struggling to get up the hill there, but it's pulling a fair amount of weight, you know, just on those four wheels uh, cranked up to number two, and, uh, and then it picks up speed on the way down. So I'll just let it run for a second. You can see the bends there um, have all been made using angle mod. I've only bent every like fourth block. That's why you've got gaps in there as well. Um, but it runs okay over the gaps, as you can see. This is how it looks without all the gear on it. <clears throat> These are just the trolleys and the engine. I like it like this, actually. It's quite technical. You can see how the bogies adapt using the hinge to get over the angled hump there on the bridge because it's quite a sharp angle. And then as you, they go through the uh, the bends, and this is the shape of it, an infinite loop, you know, a uh, figure of eight, the eighth uh, video on the railway series. So that was quite a coincidence. Um, yeah, so it's been a lot of fun to make, and it's, it's a huge amount of fun to play with. You can do all sorts, like, you can destroy it in so many ways, you just wouldn't believe uh, you could put all sorts of other uh, machines in here. Um, but for now, I'll just let it... See that back carriage dragging a little bit? It doesn't do that when it's made up, because those two carriages are identical, except one's got wood and one hasn't. That's all right. Toot toot. And away we go. It's quite nice having something that uh, you can fit right around that village, isn't it? It looks all right. So here we go, back around the bend. I think there's a, like a graffiti tag on, the, on the, the roofs of those houses. I'm sure it's hidden in there somewhere, a signature of the dev. Probably not. And up one more time. You see it struggles its way up. Um, I quite like that as well, because that's what a real train does. I mean, the, the, real tr the, the wheels slip like crazy when they're going to upgrade it sometimes. And down again. Okay. Looking good. So, we'll just go around uh, one more time fully. I'll roll up to the bridge one more time, and then we'll have a look at it from another in another direction. That's it, a low down. quite like that angle. That's pretty good. You can see all the detail in the wagon. Yeah. What do you think so far? It's okay, yeah? Toot toot. See, the, the, the wheel that I'm using in between the tracks, that's the that's the best method I've come up with for keeping it on the tracks without slowing it down in any way. There's a tiny bit of space on either side of that wheel and that just uh, it works really well on the bends and it just keeps it under control. So I've experimented with a lot. Anyway, so... What else uh, can you do apart from watching that going round? Well, you could put other machines onto the track as well. And if you do that, make sure they're pointing in the right direction. Otherwise, well, you can imagine, otherwise there might be all sorts of problems, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Multiple angles. Lots of explosions. Well, this is Besiege after all. You've got to have them. Or you can play chases with it. And um, the one at the back there is on automatic and the ones on the front I've got on my finger on it. And uh, yeah, you could go up to all sorts. You could attack it with planes, with artillery. You could use it as a moving target. That's it. Okay. See ya. Bye.